My name is Rob Weiner. I am popular culture slash humanities librarian um, here at Texas Tech. I also teach occasionally for the Honors College, teach courses for them. And um, I was born in Chicago, but uh, we moved here when I was 10 years old. And uh, <clears throat> Texas Tech is all I've really ever known. Uh, my father started the computer science program here at Texas Tech, and my mother was also a computer science professor. That's why I'm the artsy-fartsy one of the family. Um, so being here is, is home, you know. It's, tech is all I've ever really known and wanted to be a part of. Well, back in the early 90s, uh, I, I worked as a paraprofessional here, and then um, I've been working here in my current position as a faculty member for nearly 10 years, be 10 years in April. Well, I could tell you some stories about when I was a paraprofessional. Um, but uh, I don't think you could film them. I don't think, you know, it could, it could be made. Uh, there are some pretty crazy things that I've seen. Um, I do remember while I was here uh, seeing somebody dressed like a moose or something walk through the library. Maybe it was a horse. Uh, for, for some event that they were doing. Um, so yeah, I can tell you lots of stories from my public library days. The 1920s, um, as long as I was wealthy during that period, but you know, the era, the golden age of Hollywood, movies, um, the flappers, the you know, beginning of fast cars, and you know, the, the great Gatsby kind of um, mentality. Um, I'm fascinated with the 20s. I, <clears throat> I think it's uh, it. It was an interesting era in American history, and, and lots of good things happened. Lots of bad things happened. Obviously, it led to the Depression, you know, um, and out of World War One. Uh, going into the 1920s, but um, there's something about the art of that era, uh, the, the architecture, the art, art deco, the different art movements, Dada and, and surrealism, the beginning of those, um, that is just fascinating. Um, the literature that came out, um, and you know, that period was, you know, is now considered kind of the golden age of Hollywood, even though, you know, it was silent movies. They, they really perfected the silent film in that era and uh, began to tell amazing stories. So, um, I think it's, it's quite interesting era in American history um, from a popular culture standpoint. <laughs> My favorite service the library offers is interlibrary loan. Um, I've, I've put in something like 5,000 requests since I've been here. Yeah. Um, yeah, interlibrary loan is your friend. And they work really hard and do a good job. And, and I've always been a tremendous user of interlibrary loan going back to my public library days and even before then, when I was a student here, I used it all the time. If I were to give a student one piece of advice, it would be never lose your hunger for knowledge. Be a lifelong learner. 
because learning doesn't end when college ends. Um, and I think it's important to understand that. You know, um, I heard a great quote once by a philosopher, uh, Robert Anton Wilson, and he said, uh, when you realize how much you don't know, when you realize how much there is left to learn in the world, then it is utterly impossible for you to ever be bored again. And I think that those are good words to live by.